This is Dee with Peercast.net. We were talk we're talking to the creators of Spirit Camp. Can you guys tell us a little bit about what your uh, your movie is and yeah, take it from there? Uh, Spirit Camp is a horror comedy. It's about a bunch of hot cheerleaders that get hacked up at camp. So if you love cheerleaders, I've got something for you. And if you hate cheerleaders, I've got something for you. I'm Kerry Byard, uh, the director, and this is my co-producer, John Lynch. And we're here at the Texas Frightmare uh, weekend. Is there a, can you give us a website and a link to uh, acquire the movie? Yeah, it's at spiritcampmovie.com and we've got a special edition and a limited signed edition that's available and it comes with an autographed pair of panties and I think everybody should own one of those. With, your, um, with the movie that you've done, did you have any uh, difficulties or have you run into anything like that? You know, it's always challenging, you know. <laughs> That's what they always say, isn't it? <laughs> it was easy. <laughs> you know, it's always challenging when you try to, uh, I think any film is, is challenging to put together. And then when you've got, you know, 25 actors and trying to man manage schedules. And, 20 and, locations. And locations and you're outside at night. And uh, so it was definitely a challenge for an independent film. But we had, you know, had a lot of fun. It was the, the, the best experience professionally in my life and the most challenging. Can you tell us a little bit about the locations that you used? We were in and around Houston, in here. and then up of our, uh, above Cleveland, Texas. Uh, we shot out in the woods, uh, a nice uh, uh, area that had a, some really nice cabins. And where else were we? Uh, uh, kind of in and around Houston, and then we were, we did a lot of production uh, at my studio. Um, downtown. That's right. Yeah. Even took the camera underwater, so we had that thing everywhere. <laughs> These guys, uh, what was the most challenging thing that you that you come across on the, the movie that what you did? Well, we have a cast full of women, so they were great. <laughs> they were great. No problems at all with them. Um, I, I think the uh, it's just the coordinating schedules. Yeah. Uh, you know, trying to get 12 people in one location outside of town at the same time and you know, logistically you know, putting them up, feeding them, doing all that kind of stuff. That's probably the most challenging aspect, you know. Uh, and I think also securing your locations initially in pre-production, finding the right spot. And I, I found with horror, people either love you or hate you. And some people, the minute you say you're making a horror film, they, no, we don't, no. They don't want anything to do with it. So that's kind of tough to get... You know, people to, to you know say, oh yeah, yeah, come into my you know, place of business and shoot here. You know, <laughs> just don't use my name. <laughs> and then of course, with cheerleaders running around, <laughs> we're a horror film with cheerleaders, so they're thinking other things as well. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of got a bad response on that one. It's like, yeah, sure, it's a horror. A couple movie. of lifted yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, everybody thought we were making a porno, mm -hmm. and it was funny for the first couple of weeks, and then as it went on, it's like, hey, no, really, we're not making a yeah. porno. And, you know, when a joke gets old, it gets it's old. It gets old right quick. You start having people show up at set with get their own digital cameras turned in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're basically locally around here. Do you guys have another uh, uh, a movie in progress? or you got just... a couple. Yeah, I've got a sci-fi horror that I'm working on, and then another horror that's you know, very much the same tone as uh, Spirit Camp. You know, a lot of fun. Uh, and you know, looking to go into production those as soon as we finish the whole marketing stage of Spirit Camp. Okay. Got a lot of uh, a lot of our fans asking us when the sequel's coming out, so <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Love to do a sequel, buy the DVD. <laughs> then we'll put your vote in. It's SpiritCamp.com. <laughs> you like Spirit Camp? Buy it, and then they we'll sell yeah. the DVDs. We'll make another one. <laughs> start doing uh, cons and start finding uh, cheer squads dressed up as your characters, and you know it's time to do a sequel. Then you know exactly. it's time, yeah. yeah. Uh, is there a uh, is spiritcamp.com the uh, website that they spiritcampmovie.com spiritcampmovie.com my yeah. apologies also yeah. Facebook Facebook yeah. uh, is, uh, is that where the uh, Beercast fans can get uh, updates on your upcoming yeah, projects the, or? Um, the, as far as the updates for Spirit Camp go on the Facebook page I, I post videos and, and constantly about what we're doing like here I'll post videos from here so that's the best way to stay in contact with what's happening with Spirit Camp um, then you know, the website you know, is, is basically you know, more of the production and the, the DVD sales and, and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, Kerosene Films is the, my film company, and it's kerosenefilms.com. Uh, so you know, find me on Facebook, find, find the, you know, uh, go to one of the websites, and that's the best way to stay in touch.
Did you guys run into any budget restraints or delays due to the budgets or? We had this. Uh, we had a flexible budget on this because I financed this myself, and so uh, we broke the filming up into a series of short films, and we'd go out and shoot for a week at a time or on a weekend. We did that, you know, over the course of a year, and so we'd go hit one segment and you know shoot that, come back, and then I'd make the props, wardrobe, make some more money, put it into the film, go back and do it, and, and that was kind of how we did it. And, you know, you. Uh, you have this idea in mind of where you want to keep it, and this is like this is what I'm spending, and so you know. Do you have any funny stories you could share with us on the uh, making of Spirit Camp? I know it's dangerous tread. Yeah, I'm treading dangerous ground here. What can we say? What can we right, not say? Right, right. What can we say? Is, uh, it's uh, a family show. This is. Well, we can we can bleep it out. If need <laughs> I don't know. I think the funniest thing to shoot was the dildo scene. That was really funny. <laughs> you know, and then of course there's a, there's a scene where a girl does something with a dildo, and then she may or may not get killed, and, <laughs> and the dildo hits the floor. And, uh, uh, and me and John, we shot the insert of the dildo hitting the floor, and it's like. We, we did like 30 takes of that, and I think John said something like, you know, this is really bad. We're two guys sitting in a room dropping a dildo on a floor over and over again. What's wrong with this picture? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We should have told that one. No, okay. Okay. So you, you, can, you can cut that out. <laughs> cut that one out. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, uh, uh, anything like uh, the actresses and actresses, they were, you know, uh, how can I? Did you, did you have a lot of actresses coming up for roles on Spirit did. Camp, or did you have your sights set on uh, already certain people? We did. We cast. Um, we did about three months worth of casting. I think we saw like five hundred. Saw at least. Five, five. Yeah, at least five hundred. You know, throughout the state of Texas, and you know, we found a really great cast and crew, and and uh, you know, I think we were really lucky to. Um, really have a, a tight knit family on this. You know, everybody was just one hundred and ten percent committed, and, and you know, I can't say enough good things about you know the people that worked on this film. I'm thankful for that. Pulled in a lot of favors. You know, uh, his mom was was constantly coming up on set, being a real mom to all of us. Got nicknamed the Spirit Mom. Did all the catering, which was fantastic. And uh, I tell you, one of the funniest stories uh, that we had is we were shooting the. Um, the uh, gas station scene, and Carrie's father did a cameo, and uh, as Slim, <laughs> and uh, he came up and he was all uh, scruffed up, and he's a you know worked for Shell all his life, so very clean cut and everything. So he comes up and he's all scruffy, and man, he had about eight cheerleaders hanging <laughs> all over him. Man, it was that was about one of the funniest things. He's on, set, he's on set for five minutes, and I think he got more Boom. action than we did in the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> Real action, and it's for real. <laughs> uh, as far as the uh, the cast goes, is it, uh, is it their first run in a movie, or you know, this was most, um, this was all, most of all, all the, the girls. girls yeah. This was their first film, and wow, okay, and, drive by. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then we had some we had some old timers. <laughs> yeah, we had some great old timers. Uh, Brandon Smith, who is uh, all over the place, has been uh, Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers, and uh, Outer. Uh, no Country for Old Men. No Country for Old Men. Friday Night Lights, Prison Break. You know, you name it. And then uh, Marco Perella. Yeah, Marco, who is, Marco is great. Yeah, he's like a Kevin Bacon. You know, he's been in everything. <laughs> And so, so that was really cool to have those guys come out yeah. and, and be a part of it. Kind of helps with the seasoning. And yeah, everything. fantastic. You know, those guys came and, you know, we were a lower budget and they treated us like we were a studio pitcher. Came in real professional, got their work done, you know, yeah. bent over backwards, which is, you know, fantastic. An excellent experience. Yeah. yeah. You know, all the way yeah, around. All the way around. Uh, I, had a, I had a question and I lost my train of thought. It's quite normal with me. Yeah. It was the drive-by shooting. It was the drive-by yeah, right. shooting where we were fearing for our lives. Uh, with the casting and everything that you've done so far, uh, do they have? Do you know if there's anything that they were coming up to do? Or oh, the, the cast, yeah. Um, Julian just did the final, which was part of the After Dark Horror Fest, and it's now available on DVD. Um, Roxy is, just did Renfield Diaries, I think is what it is, yeah. Um, uh, Denise was just on Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah, the cast is doing really, really well. A lot of our cast have moved out to LA. Yeah, and are, are doing you know just fine out there. Yeah. So yeah, until, until that phone call, we need you back. Yeah, we need <laughs> you back. Come on back. Here's the sequel. Well, I do appreciate all the, uh, the time you've given us, and uh, uh, thank you. And thank you for all the uh, Fearcast people out there. Go out and check out the website, and uh, let's support some local horror. Spearcampmovie.com.